everybody. Welcome back to One Minute Walking Tours. I am Jonathan. Thanks for tuning in for another exciting tour here in the New York City subway system. But you can see here behind me, uh, hey everybody, <laughs> this uh, turquoise um, setup here along the walls. In, uh, this is the Borough Hall Station in Brooklyn, where you can get the R. <laughs> I know it's backwards. Uh, the 4, 5, and the 2, 3. A lot of the stations, a lot of the uh, trains will stop here in Borough Hall and you can switch out and go to other places. But these uh, turquoise windows, uh, this turquoise set up here with these windows, this is the last piece of what was called commuter banking. Uh, and you can see here, uh, let me get over. This says commu uh, commuter banking from the Diebold, Diebold or Diebold Corporation for the Brooklyn Savings Bank. Now that's defunct from 1990. Uh, it went under, but that was from 1892 to 1990. And their hours were banking hours, Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. You were able to come here on your way to work or away from work and do your banking. There were call buttons and there was another window on the floor above. And this would be the kind of New York City drive-through banking, if you will. Now this was the height of uh, post-war modernity. You could come and do your banking, the kind of I guess New York City equivalent of doing drive through banking, but you were doing it here on the subway. Um, handling large amounts of money on the subway, I guess, would seem kind of strange even to me today, but I guess it was a different vibe <laughs> in 1962 when the Brooklyn Savings Bank um, headquarters, which were above us, uh, were demolished and they were moved. But the banking here was actually still in, uh, was open for a while, but I couldn't actually find any um, records for when they stopped doing the commuter banking. I'm guessing probably sometime in the 1970s when things like this would have fallen out of favor, when drive through banking, uh, and certainly when automated tellers became the ideal uh, for you know convenience and so forth. But for a long time, this was how um, you could say to your customers, we're at the height of modernity where you have all of the available hours, all of our tellers, and now this has been taken over, quite rightly so, by the MTA and see there's a third window over here where things would have been posted and so forth and I think this is you know one of these little neat things you find here in New York City it's like oh you used to be able to do your banking you used to be able to do a lot of things in the subway when this was the pride of New York City the height of technology and the height of living you could do it all in the subway including your banking well I certainly hope you enjoyed we'll see you here soon on one minute walking Oh, I keep forgetting to tell people, please go over to my uh, YouTube channel. That's One Minute Walking Tours. I'll post a link if you're watching on Instagram or Facebook. And like and subscribe. We'll go new places and do new things together. So again, I hope you enjoyed, and we'll see you here soon.